Hi, I'm Jordan with Rico Rents. Today I'm going to show you how to download the data from your TSI instruments using the Track Pro software. So now we can go over the standard version of Track Pro. Uh, this one is used with a lot of our instruments, uh, including the Dust Track 8530, the Dust Track DRX 8533, and 8534, uh, as well as the SidePack AM510, the VelociCal Core, some people call it the Q Track, that older model and uh, the P-Track. So lots of different devices that are using the standard Track Pro software. Now again, all we need to do is have our dust track turned on, plug in the USB cable to the device and to the computer, and open up the software. So here's what we get. Um, if you click File and then Receive, that's how we're going to pull up the instrument that we're dealing with. And here we go, we can see we have one data log on here. So, we're going to just select the tests. If there's multiple tests, uh, you can select all. Uh, right now we just have one on here, but you can just select all. Or you can hold down the control button and select multiple tests in here if you had it. And then just click receive. So now we've received that test. See it right here. Now you can save the track profile. Uh, so basically, you can save this file, and then once you open it up, you'll see what we're seeing right here. Um, so, a couple different ways to save it, but we can do file save, and that will save this as a .tkp file. You'll see it right there. Uh, you can also add notes to a test. For example, we can right click on here. So for example, if this test was in a specific location, I could say, I don't know, say it was in the closet. <laughs> so uh, we took a measurement in the closet here. Now if we just want to save this as a uh, Excel file, we can do file export. We'll export the test data. And there's a couple different options here for the data delimiter. Uh, it looks like comma is the best option here. So we can export that. Oops. We just select the test and then export. And we can save it as a couple different file types. Uh, the best way to do it, just so that it's formatted well, is to save it as all files. And then we're going to title what we save this as uh, with .csv at the end. So for example, Dust track dot csv. I'll save that on my desktop. So then it's going to save it as a good, well formatted uh, Excel file here. So these just we do it this way because uh, it looks a little bit cleaner in Excel versus a text file or a dot txt. So we've got it here. If you double click on these spots, whoops, double click here. Double click there, it just kind of expands things out a little bit more. So it looks cleaner. And then you can see you got your start date, start time, the duration of the test, and all the numbers for your test right there. So that is the standard track pro. Export it. Uh, we can also uh, take a look at the data in the software itself using the reports tab. So if we do reports and let's go with test data report, then you get something that looks like this. So you can save these reports. If you do file print, and we'll do the Microsoft print to PDF. So if we do it that way, then it'll save this as a true PDF. We'll replace that one. Uh, here's your PDF report for that dust track. So yeah, you can save a copy of those reports in a PDF. Uh, now we can also create a graph of the data here. So to get out of the report view, uh, we're gonna click this button right here. That takes us back to the main menu. And now we can 
look at the graphs here. So if we want to look at a graph here, we can graph new and we will graph our log data tests. So we'll just use this single one. You can title it. And there's our graph. So you can edit and customize this graph. There's a few different things you can do. You can annotate it. You can write little notes here. Uh, we can adjust quite a few different options here. We can change the colors on the graph. We can change the text. So quite a few things you can do in those graph options. Then again, you can save the graph using the Microsoft Print to PDF, which is now a default since I chose that. Or you can, it's kind of similar to when you save the .tkp file, uh, you can save the graph itself. So we do that, graph, and store. So if we do that, uh, it stores this into the track profile that we save. So if I go back to the main menu here and save this .tkp file to the desktop, I close up this software. And I can open up Track Pro. And if I do File Open. And if we open up that TKP file, we should see this in the stored graphs. And if we open it up, there it is. So there's the stored graph. And that is how we conduct a download for Track Pro. Thanks for watching our video on the Track Pro software. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call at 866-736-8347, or you can head to the training center on our website at racorents.com for more informational videos.